we're continuing from where we left off immediately. Dragon, if you would get us back into the trial. Oh, in a second. Oh, and uh, by the way, welcome back to Phoenix Wright. Justice for all. Let's go. Phew, that was a close one. I know you're giving it all to your... <laughs> I know... <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait till you're done laughing so I can have a go again. Ah! I know you're giving it your all to defend me. I can feel the death penalty hanging in the air. Felt like it. I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. Thanks. Wait, tricked? That must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? By the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of heart. Oh, I guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick, you promised you saved me. If you lose, me and my sister's ghosts will come after you and haunt you. Ooh. Your sister. Um, are you talking about Mystic Maya? Why are you looking at me like that? Did I say it wrong? Shit, I said Maya again. Sorry, I'll do that again. Um, are you talking about Mystic Mia? Yeah, do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I guess to her, Mia just left the village and never came back. Hmm. I want to get to those psyche locks on Mia. We will, probably at some point, like the next investigation or something. At any rate, you want a udgy? Been swimming lately? No, I haven't. Court will now reconvene. Now, for the first order of. No! Oh! I don't want to hear it, odd man. After I call my witness, sit there quietly and watch like a good little boy. Yes, sir. Bring in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. I despise you. Witness your name and occupation, if you please. Hey, Phoenix! How you doing? Just fine. Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know. You did. Elsa! Name an occupation. I, I declare, what in tarnation? Hey, judge, this here is a violence against my fair self. That's fine. That's fine! That ain't fine! That's a whip! Yeah! There's no need for foolish outcries from foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about what happened on the day of the murder. I haven't even gone to say my name and job yet. Mm. The name's Lana Hart, paranormal photographer, and I'm here to testify! No, no. Let's all be one big happy family, okay? I mean, to be honest, Lotta has, like, all the- like, literally, every time Francisco whips someone, she can literally have, like, an assault charge against her. Mm -hmm. So Lotta's right. No whipping in the court. <laughs> Violence against my fair self. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Only the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door, and then BANG! We hear this gunshot. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down, and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant, waving a pistol around. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. And did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Wrecking course! Eh, excuse me? Wrecking course! It's short for, you reckon? Of course I did! Ah! 
Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. Two. Two. Well, the truth. What will be in that picture? Um, let's see here. This here's the picture. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay. It wasn't there. <sighs> we don't exactly know. But, but anyway. But I want to know what's in the second picture. Did I miss a line of dialogue? It was just a hmm. Hmm. It would certainly seem that the attorney oh, defendant. Ah, you! Goodness me! Archie, oh, you have been swimming lately. You've caught a cold. It would certainly seem that only the defendant and victim were in that room. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I will clear all doubts about Maya through this cross-examination. Hell yeah. Just watch me. He says in his mind. Well, I guess we better stop pressing. That one? No. No, we should press all of them. Get as much info as we can. Was it really only those two that went in? What are you blabbering on about? You were there too, were you not? Yeah. Why don't you answer that yourself? Was it really just the two of them? Yes, Dr. Ray and I were the only two that went into the room. Hold, hold on! We can't have the defence testifying against its own client! Anyway folks, only the two of them went into the challenge chamber, you hear? But you knew that from the very beginning, didn't you? Witness, continue. Was it really a gunshot? Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. I heard too. Ugh. Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes, I think it was something that sounded like a gunshot. And why are we here listening to the defense testify? And the world becomes just a little crueler. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know. And I tell you, that was a gunshot I heard. Now, this. This is where the story heats up. Do I need to press yeah. on? Yeah. We may as well press on all of So, them. let me get this straight. This Phoenix. Oh God, please, I don't want to do You this. have to. So this was the lawyer that broke the door down? Honestly, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why don't you tell us what happened then? Um, yes, Ms. Von Karma, I broke the door down. Sorry. <laughs> what? Yes, I broke down the door. I'm sorry. Why does this feel like an inquisition? No need for apologizing. That was great. You're a real man. Ugh. Oh, really? That's something I would have liked to see. Oh, I bet you would have, Mr. Judge. You're sexy. Woof! Sure, uh, Mr. Edward, who ain't right there, uh, would have liked to see it too, with Mr. Phoenix, right? Yeah. The judge is smiling rather openly. I'll take that as a good sign. And? What did you see when she broke in? Are you sure it was the defendant, Maya Fay? Sure, I'm sure. Well, it seems awful confident in the testimony. Cross a because it would look like Maya. Walter, well, please think back to that day one more time. Well, what you getting then? Remember what you said when we broke into the room? When you saw the murderer at the time, you couldn't even tell if it was Maya Fay or not, am I correct? Um, well, you see. Oh, Miss Hart, you're here to test, here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, uh, so sorry. Good, let me shift things back to my side. 
Quite a defence lawyer. Your defence is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Oh, shut up. Just because you're losing. I've not lost yet. Witness, think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered? One of those people that entered the chamber was Maya Fey, correct? Yeah, that's right! Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm. It looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Fey. No, it's not. Exactly. That's not she's before. Rats are trapped like one again. Great, we got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure I am, but that old witch chased it out of the room, so... Old witch? Does she mean Morgan Le Fay? <laughs> Appropriate, Morgan Le Fay was a witch. But there was no one else in there, and you know it! The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Was there really no one else in there? What about... Well, behind the folding screen, you can't see behind that. What's about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Right, Given! Huh? What in the... Right, Given, you know. You reckon? That's a Given. It, I, I took me a good look around the room once! There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen! Hmm. Let me have a word with you, Miss Hart. What? You got a problem? Rick Given. I mean, I'm, I'm having a little difficulty in understanding you. If you would stop saying such things as Rick and Given. Oh. Now look, then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, do you see a problem with the testimony? Or yes. Don't you? Ah, just as I thought, there's nothing wrong with it. Yes, there is. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. No, you don't. No. Enough. It seems that there are no issues with Miss Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Fay. Hmm. What about that other photo? The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant. What am I going to do if I just let this go? What is it, Miss Wright? You look as if you have something to say. If I make one wrong move, I'm going to have the judge against me. Is there anything I can present that would prove it's not mine in that photo? Not in a minute. What did I just click? You just click present. Shit. We don't have any evidence yet. I I'm skipping the dialogue because I didn't mean to do this. How do I... Can you press B? No! You have to present something then. You're forced to present something now. Shit. It was an accident. I know that. <sighs> Just present your badge. No. You get this done no. You have nothing to present. The key doesn't count. How does that... Not the minute. I know. You're an idiot, Mr. Wright. Oh no, I just thought I would work on my inflections. Just wondering what an objection would sound like this way. Mr. Wright, I'm sorry, I don't follow your logic. Thank goodness. That's fine. Shoot, I guess I wasn't showing you problem. Yeah, that's fine. Give up. Give up. I didn't mean to... I thought I was skipping through dialogue. Yeah, pretty much it was a thing of... Um, I think they do that anyway and have the option to give up because most people at the time would be thinking like you that you know there's a way to prove it because we saw what Maya looked like from the front. But we had nothing at the moment. But we had no I, I accidentally clicked it. That's why I skipped through so much dialogue. I know. <sighs> nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Red. You really should give up trying to prove this is not Maya Faye. Did it say anything about giving up? We just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. I need that other photo. That's enough! That's, that's it. Is this what I have to do? 
He's quite obvious to this court that the verdict of not guilty is not possible. I told you. Totally, 100% impossible. It was two I told you. So. Oh. Was I told you? I told you. Oh, I did not realize. I told you. Totally, 100% impossible. Ms. Vakama, do you have any further questions for this witness? I have established the defendant's guilt, so the question won't be needed. What about the defense? No good questions, I presume? I... I can protect my... The defense? The defense? Phoenix. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. Hello! Jesus Christ, Pearl. <sighs> I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? Fucking hell, Pearl. Yes, hello. You, but pearls? The clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. But how? She's already taken away every advantage. Ugh, the advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? Two. You see, there's one final piece to this puzzle. Yeah. Question Lotta once more. <laughs> one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. Now then, the school would like to end the cross-examination period. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination period has already ended. Furthermore, any other It's fine. I'll allow another testimony. Can't even finish my fucking sentence, you psycho! Mm. A Von Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. Absolutely Cause you're beautiful. <laughs> like no other. Flawless. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. Anyway. And what better time than this for you to see that? But, but, I mean, I have some place I must go after this. Oof. All right, I'll allow it. It's hard to hurry up and give us another testimony. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See? You got through to the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was on Karma's wit that got through to him. When we broke into that room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. Well, there we go. We'll press on that statement. Nothing seems different from before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press her on those sections. Struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. The last one, right? Yeah, last one where she's talking about taking a picture of Maya. There we are. Two, right? T two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. It's hard. Where is the other picture you've been withholding? No, no, no. You got it all wrong. It's not me. I, I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't it obvious? That prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it! There we go. What? But... Von Karma! You're just like your father! But, but Mrs. Von Karma, you, you're hiding critical evidence! Unforgivable, Von Karma. 
suppressing evidence like this, you're as bad as your father. Confront Francisca? Do it. Your Honor, the defense house of the prosecutor and will be held in contempt of court. Well, yes. Yeah. Me? In contempt of court? You can't be serious. But, but you hid evidence from the court on purpose. That's, that's, that's not fair. Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? Both. Ah, sorry girl, I can you. There's one karma, but you can't explain yourself to this court. I thought this picture was not important, and thus have no name to submit it. That's all. How could you think? The pictures were more or less the same, so why bother with the second? More or less. I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. But more trouble than it's worth? How, how can you say that? If you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. Thank you, I'd like to see it, please. That's, That's not my, uh... What is, what is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the witness took that day at the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off center, but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. Um, I think the important point here is that the person in this picture. This is most definitely not my affair. What is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. Now. Should I or should I not insist that the person's picture is not my affair? Insist, insist it's, it's not, not mine. Yeah. Not everyone knows the technique. No. Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person in the picture is not my affair. Yes, I see that. It's just, it's not just her face. Her whole body is taken on a different appearance. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn then. And somehow this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant! Jesus Christ. Order! 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 Well, yes, I, I believe you are correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not my affair. Yeah, we did it. You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at the prosecutor von Karma's face. She's smiling. I think you would better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Oh, God. Mr. Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your no, Honor, no, I would like you to take a look at this picture. This was taken yesterday at the detention center's visitor room. What the fuck? She illegally took a photo. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Faye, during his visit. Yeah. Yep. My affair. But isn't this a totally different person? She looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. Great. She revealed the technique. It's unbelievable that she can... Yet it is the truth. When Maya Faye is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. Why are you revealing that technique to everybody? She's proven one thing. Maya's legit. She's the legit shit. Miss Von Karma, a word if I may. Yeah? Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you must know that that picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal, but I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. What is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. I don't have even a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. I don't claim to understand this and I still can't believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person is the defendant? My affair. I give up here and the trial will end. 
but if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. Is there any way I can prove the person those pictures? Not Maya. Uh, I need to have a proper look at the full picture then. You have to be able to prove it. Honey. The sleeves. They're intact. Yeah. The sleeve on the right, well, our right, is meant to have a hole in it. It doesn't yeah. have a hole. So we can prove it. I can't unprove it. Your Honour? Oh, the fire has turned into your eyes, I see. This picture. Within this picture is a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. Contradiction! So, you think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you point out what exactly is so strange about it to the court? Please direct your attention here. To, to the sleeve. But, but there isn't anything on about it. And that is exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there? Ah! <sighs> there was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in his picture as well. Oh, God. Miss Vokama, you... You intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence. You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. Alright, this should do some major damage to our argument. Don't celebrate yet. I'm not. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. Smells all shit again. Ah, she's got a condescending grim bustle all over her face again. Jumping the gun again, I see. Your Honour, I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. What do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have known that this picture was of any value to this case. Mm, I see. She's lying through her teeth. I know it. That woman knew about everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Stop reading my mind. Francisco von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honour, you need not worry. If you must decide a penalty, I'll personally make sure that... that I'll personally make sure that detective gets what's coming. Well, that was you. I'm sure there will be a great gnashing of teeth at his next salary discussion. Oh my god, what is it with the prosecution and cutting his salary? They're just assholes. Poor Gumshoe. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, from this photo it would appear that right after the shooting there was none. The judge is confused by the strange twist of events. This is your chance, Felix. Load all you've got into this one shot, all right? Got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor, there is only one logical explanation for the contradiction. The suture is someone else. Yeah, the suture is someone else. Because you have one thing that proves that Maya left. The key. The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly does not. There can be only one explanation. This person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. What? Order, order, order. If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Ah! Why me? The defense is 
The defense's argument is a complete mess! A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please, enlighten us. Hey, witness! Ah! What the heck? Is that a way to ask... Is that any way to ask a girl a favor? Be quiet, you! You were the one who said there was only two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know... If you are lying, I swear that my whip will be the last thing you see. L look, sis, you're looking mighty scary, so why don't we say you... Ah! I, I swear, I wasn't lying or nothing. There wasn't anyone else in there, honest. You see, now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Where did the defendant vanish to? And where did this other woman appear from? Um... Why is it, lady? All I want to do is cry. Well, if the person in this picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? Hmm. This may be the way in. Or they were hidden. Or they were hidden. That's right! Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Come on, you can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright. Can't believe that even me is calling me by my full name! But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Oh, fuck off! Or do you think you have had. you had. or do you think you have enough in you to turn things around, even now? To turn things around? That's right. You would always turn things around and change your perspective. Phoenix? So where did this intruder appear from? And where did I disappear to? I need to look at the situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? I was why I had left that room somehow. But to prove that either one of those conditions were true... Mr. Wright, let's hear what you've come up with. I think what happened before we forced our way into the channeling chamber is my had, had left the room. Yeah, because you have the key. Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point. And the defense can prove this. Oh. How can a foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming your foolishly foolish dreams? Maya Faye was being looked after by her aunt, Morgan Faye. The chances of her leaving the crime scene is lower than that detective's salary. Hmm. Ow. Ouch indeed. Anyway, let's see some evidence. Proof that from the murder uh, until the time of arrest, the defendant had left the room. Oops. Allow me to show you the key. Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Hey! That's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling started, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. That key's the only one of its kind, after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? <gasps> Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Yes. It looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but why is that key currently in your possession? Uh huh? What, what do you mean? If Maya Fey locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Ah! Well, ain't that a kick? So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. Th th that's preposterous! This means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. Seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer, 
However, it is this person that is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Miss Von Karma? How can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defense's guilt is not possible. My perfect case? How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. Neither did your father till he tangled with me. And I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to the fool like you. Your father lost, and your father had perfect cases. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah, it's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick, I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever leaving that room. It's not very familiar. She had a dream that she was buried. Mm -hmm. And she, there was a smell that was very familiar. familiar. Yeah, let's continue. And I don't think that a third person could have gotten into that room. Yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance. Yeah! I'm counting on you! Ah, uh, I envy the two of you. Oh no. Oh, by the way, Nick. Do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure! All right, pros, you ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A ticket? Poor thing, so sheltered. Morgan's gonna kill us. Yes, she me. is. Yes. Well, there we go, everyone. Thank you all for watching this latest addition to our growing collection of varying games and reviews, just videos in general. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Please leave a like and a comment in the comments section down below. We love hearing what you think. If you have any recommendations for either games to play or material to review, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to get to them when we can. If you like our content, subscribe to see more. Check out our playlists if you are looking for something new or worried you've missed an episode. Click on the recommended video appearing on the screen if you want to see more of us right now. You won't regret it, we swear. Subscribe to our Patreon to become one of our lovely beans today. However, if that is too expensive for you at this time, please consider a one-off donation on our Ko-fi. Help poor tea wench today. And with that, lime out. Dragon out. Bye!